Hi, my name is Brian Porter. I'm a solutions architect with Intel. Today, we're going to be talking about optimized order fulfillment with machine learning. We're going to be speaking with uh, Ted Jones from Red Hat. He's a uh, senior SAP architect and Brian Montero. He's chief analytics officer for Inspired Intellect. Guys, you know, as we talk about the order fulfillment um, project, uh, let's talk a little bit about um, kind of what 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 brought you to this. What what were you seeing that that made AI the right solution for this? So that's an excellent point, Brian. You know, uh, I, I'll reflect back at some work that we did uh, for a client in the wholesale distributor space about a year ago, uh, and we were called in the back then to um, work on what was a sales forecasting engine for them. And, and as we built out this for sales forecasting engine, uh, we actually discovered that their operational efficiencies within the distribution center and the warehouse was a very critical driving factor for them to, to achieve their sales forecasts or their sales goals uh, every month and every year. Um, and so we recommended that we, we look at how we could best improve those operational efficiencies. And from that research uh, came about our recommendation uh, to go after an order fulfillment decisioning uh, optimization engine. Um, and the way we've constructed this is through formulating it as two different models that end up using enterprise data assets. So it looks at all of the enterprise assets from supplier information uh, through to logistics and distribution data, uh, product and inventory data, maybe even trade and you know, regulatory data if you've got access to that, uh, and harnesses all of that information into what we call a 360 degree view of the outcome of interest. And the outcome of interest here is the order's likelihood of being delayed. And we can then look at that data and, and work off it to build two different predictive models. The first of these models is designed to predict the likelihood that an incoming order will be delayed based on the order of, uh, attributes. While the second model uh, estimates the expected delay in days uh, for, for the incoming order. And combining these two, we can now uh, optimize and transform that order fulfillment process. So what was previously uh, a, a process that was very reliant on uh, executive dashboards, hindsight reporting, right? And, and very much a reactive process is now transformed into a proactive decisioning process because you can take that predictive model, the first predictive model, uh, and combine it with the expected revenue from an incoming order to get to an expected margin at risk estimate. And you can cross-reference that estimate against the second model, that is the expected delay in days, uh, to yield a very intuitive way to rationalize your order fulfillment process. And what's really critical here is the, the aspect that you're going to have to recognize that as you deploy these models and operationalize these models, you will learn from how the market responds to your decisions and to your actions, as well as other data assets that you may not have included in the first few iterations of the solution and you're gonna to have to grow and build out the solution over time. And this is where Red Hat's OpenShift platform really comes into play. So let's hear a little bit of, more about how, how Red Hat brings that to bear for the solution. Yeah, sure, Brian. So the relationship between Red Hat and SAP spans over four decades. Uh, and our partnership with SAP with data intelligence goes back to SAP Vora, the, the first incarnation of data intelligence. Uh, we're one of two uh, enterprises to have a validated solution by SAP uh, to run data intelligence. 
uh, you need a Kubernetes platform, and then you also need storage. So you need object storage for data intelligence, and then you need uh, block storage for Kubernetes. And we provide both with our Red Hat OpenShift uh, container storage solution. So that's a, a software uh, driven uh, storage solution that allows you to run your data intelligence in, in a Kubernetes platform. It provides Ceph um, as well as uh, security. You can run it internally or externally uh, to your OpenShift instance. Um, and then we also provide uh, security and uh, reliability uh, that uh, today's companies are uh, really expecting uh, from a, an enterprise solution like this. We have Red Hat engineers working side by side with SAP engineers at Waldorf, uh, Germany, SAP headquarters. So our engineers working on data intelligence are uh, constantly communicating with the SAP data intelligence engineers. Also, with this demo that we put together, uh, it really calls to light um, how things can really change in, in the world environment, in the, in the economy, uh, and COVID is an excellent example of that. Um, so your models will, uh, your AI models will deteriorate uh, a lot quicker. Uh, so you need a way to update those models either at your edge devices or uh, in your data center. And Red Hat provides ML ops that enable you to do that. So you can train your models in data intelligence running in OpenShift. And then once you're ready to push to production, you kick off a CI CD process that eventually will push those production models out to your edge devices. So you can do your inferencing at the edge uh, where we also enable OpenShift and the OpenShift uh, container platform to um, execute those models real time. Also with Intel optimized AI libraries running in SAP data intelligence, uh, we were able to show along with Inspired Intellect uh, how much more efficient these models or these libraries enable your uh, AI model training uh, to process. So th that's another excellent point and excellent uh, value add with the Intel solution that uh, enables you to react quickly to, to changes in data, uh, changes in environment variables that affect those production models. So in partnership with Red Hat and Inspired Intellect, Intel has been working with SAP for a number of years. We optimize for uh, the, the HANA stack, we optimize for data intelligence, and, and more importantly, we allow you to leverage the, the processors that you already have. So your Xeon scalable processor infrastructure through the use of Intel DAL. Uh, Intel DAL is a set of library instructions. So it's the uh, data analytics and accelerations library. Uh, and it allows you to get, uh, you know, effectively uh, low-level optimized code for your AI that lets your processor take the best advantage of the libraries that are out there. We optimize on gradient boost and descent uh, and uh, a number of other common libraries to make sure that you're getting the most power in both your training and the inference uh, from the, the processors that you have. Brian, you want to tell us a, a little bit about um, some of the, the other things that you can do with the solution? Absolutely, Brian. So what we have to recognize is that with any advanced analytics uh, you know, solution, uh, you are going to have to evolve over a period of time. So it's okay. It's really, frankly, okay to start small uh, start with what you know and, and are confident with. Uh, so if you've got information around product uh, inventory and out of stock data, by, by all means, you know, you start with there, but you can expand that solution to include other sources of data. Uh, for example, supplier risk data, or you might want to include promotional and marketing information 
because you know real the realistic uh, outcome is that marketing and promotional activity will drive uh, demand towards your fulfillment centers and you're going to need to address those issues and you can expand on that through you know specialized handling requirements on on certain products routing data and so on and so forth so the, look at this as a journey and 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 look at it as as a way to continually learn from the marketplace continually understand what could be next and a great example of that is natural disasters right we we might not always be prepared for natural disasters uh, but the reality is that past uh, natural disaster events kind of like the covid uh, situation that we are in right now um, allows us to learn how the marketplace suppliers manufacturers and logistics distributors Uh, respond to the, the events and we can retain this information and learn from this information so that we are much better prepared in the future no matter what type of uh, market event we might be faced with uh, so come learn with us uh, we thank you for listening to us here today and we encourage you to start thinking about building out a smarter more efficient business operations with us thank you So Intel's DAW libraries give you the ability to get a low level optimization to leverage VNNI uh, and other components in the Xeon scalable processor family that uh, allow you to get the most out of your environment. Um, everything from gradient boosted descent to any number of uh, powerful libraries uh, that help bring your business a cost effective way of leveraging AI um, and getting the most uh, from, from your compute environment. The Xeon scalable architecture uh, allows you the most flexibility. Uh, our integration with both Red Hat and SAP uh, is deep. We work uh, daily with the engineering teams from both companies, allowing us to get early access to, to software and to really Uh, drive the innovation. On top of that, we layer our AI technologies, which uh, allow you to get deeper libraries than you'd get with uh, standard open source uh, code, right? Our uh, Intel DAW uh, allows for uh, deep integration uh, with the chipsets to get more power for your AI needs. Rather than looking at one or two characteristics that Uh, happened in the past, happened last quarter. You know, these types of AI solutions allow you to impact this quarter, right? Allow you to look at multiple variables and to leverage the AI to, to see where things are in an actionable amount of time so that you can make a difference this quarter on your bottom line. Intel, Inspired Intellect, and Red Hat Have, have put this together so that we can show great examples of just what can be done in your ERP environment, in your SAP environment, to make a difference in your quarter, particularly in trying times when we're all trying to work together to make better solutions.